Providence is the capital and most populous city in Rhode Island. Founded in 1636, it is one of the oldest cities in the United States. It is located in Providence County, and is the third largest city in the New England region after Boston and Worcester. Providence has a city population of 179,154 and is part of the 38th largest metropolitan population in the country, with an estimated population of 1,604,291, exceeding that of Rhode Island by about 60%, as it extends into southern Massachusetts. This can be considered in turn to be part of the Greater Boston Commuting Area, which contains 7.6 million people. The city is situated at the mouth of the Providence River, at the head of Narragansett Bay. Providence was founded by Roger Williams, a religious exile from the Massachusetts Bay Colony. He named the area in honor of God's merciful providence which he believed was responsible for revealing such a haven for him and his followers to settle. After becoming one of the first cities in the country to industrialize, Providence became noted for its jewelry and silverware industry. Today, the city of Providence is home to eight hospitals and seven institutions of higher learning which has shifted the city's economy into service industries, though it still retains significant manufacturing activity. Once nicknamed the Beehive of Industry, Providence began rebranding itself as the Creative Capital in 2009 to emphasize its educational resources and arts community. History Settlement The area that is now Providence was first settled in June 1636 by Roger Williams and was one of the original 13 colonies of the United States. Williams and his company felt compelled to withdraw from Massachusetts Bay Colony. They were greeted by the Narragansetts on rocks near present-day Garno Street with the greeting, Watch here, Netop. They sought refuge with the Narragansett tribe at a place on the banks of a salt cove, as the chief of the Narragansett, Canonicus made them welcome. In 1636, Canonicus gave Williams the large tract of land which became the first nucleus of the colony of Providence Plantation. Williams' Providence soon became a refuge for persecuted religious dissenters, as he himself had been exiled from Massachusetts. Providence's growth would be slow during the next quarter century, the subsuming of its territory into surrounding towns difficulty of farming the land, and differing of local traditions and land conflicts all slowed development. Revolution in the mid-1770s, the British government levied taxes that impeded Providence's maritime, fishing and agricultural industries, the mainstay of the city's economy. One example was the Sugar Act, which was a tax levied against Providence's distilleries that adversely affected its trade in rum and slaves. These taxes caused Providence to join the other colonies in renouncing allegiance to the British Crown. In response to enforcement of unpopular trade laws, Providence residents spilled blood in the lead up to the American Revolution in the notorious Gas Pay Affair of 1772. Though during the American Revolutionary War the city escaped British occupation, the capture of nearby Newport disrupted industry and kept the population on alert. Troops were quartered for various campaigns and Brown University's University Hall was used as a barracks and military hospital. French troops were quartered in the city's market house. After departing from Newport, French troops sent by King Louis XVI and commanded by the Comte de Rochambeau passed through Providence on their way to join the attack against British forces. The march from Newport to Providence was the beginning of a campaign led jointly by Rochambeau and General George Washington in a decisive march that ended with the defeat of General Cornwallis in the Siege of Yorktown at Yorktown, Virginia, and the Battle of the Chesapeake. Incorporation as a city following the war, Providence was the country's ninth largest city with 7,614 people. The economy shifted from maritime endeavors to manufacturing, in particular machinery, tools, silverware, jewelry, and textiles. 
By the start of the 20th century, Providence boasted some of the largest manufacturing plants in the country, including Brown and Sharp, Nicholson Filed, and Gorham Silverware. The city's industries attracted many immigrants from Ireland, Germany, Sweden, England, Italy, Portugal, Cape Verde, and French Canada. Economic and demographic shifts caused social strife, notably with a series of race riots between whites and blacks during the 1820s. In response to these troubles and the economic growth, Providence residents ratified a city charter in 1831 as the population passed 17,000. City government from its incorporation as a city in 1832 until 1878, the seat of city government was located in the Market House. Located in Market Square, which was the geographic and social center of the city, the city offices quickly outgrew this building, and in 1845 the city council resolved to create a permanent municipal building. The city spent the next 30 years searching for a suitable location, resulting in what some historians have referred to as Providence's 30 Years' War, as the council bickered over where to site the new building. Finally, in 1878 the city offices moved into the newly completed City Hall. Civil War During the Civil War, local politics split over slavery as many had ties to southern cotton. Despite ambivalence concerning the war, the number of military volunteers routinely exceeded quota, and the city's manufacturing proved invaluable to the Union. Post-war Horse car lines covering the city enabled its growth and Providence thrived with waves of immigrants and land annexations bringing the population from 54,595 in 1865 to 175,597 by 1900. From the 1890s until around 1951, a China town existed around the Burrell Street and Empire Street neighborhoods which were raised under controversy for a highway extension. Growth and decline The city's boom began to wane in the mid-1920s as industries, notably textiles, shut down. Jewelry manufacturing continued to grow, taking up the slack and employing many of the city's new immigrants, coming from Portuguese, Italian, Polish, Lithuanian, and Jewish backgrounds. A number of hospitals also opened. The Great Depression hit the city hard, and Providence's downtown was subsequently flooded by the New England hurricane of 1938. Though the city received a boost from World War II, this ended with the war. The city saw further decline as a result of nationwide trends, with the construction of highways and increased suburbanization. The population would drop by 38% over the next three decades. From the 1950s to the 1980s, Providence was a notorious bastion of organized crime. The Mafia boss Raymond L.S. Patriarca ruled a vast criminal enterprise. Renaissance The city's renaissance began in the 1970s. From 1975 until 1982, $606 million of local and national community development funds were invested throughout the city and the hitherto falling population began to stabilize. In the 1990s, Mayor Vincent, Buddy, Chancey, Jr. showcased the city's strength in arts and pushed for further revitalization, ultimately resulting in the uncovering of the city's natural rivers, relocation of a large section of railroad underground, creation of waterplace park and river walks along the river's banks and construction of the fleet skating rink downtown and the 1.4 million feet squared Providence Place Mall. New investment triggered within the city, with new construction including numerous condo projects, hotels, and a new office high-rise all filling in the freed space. Despite new investment, poverty remains an entrenched problem as it does in most post-industrial New England cities. Approximately 27.9% of the city population is living below the poverty line. Recent increases in real estate values further exacerbate problems for those at marginal income levels. 
as Providence had the highest rise in median housing price of any city in the United States from 2004 to 2005. Geography The Providence city limits enclose a small geographic region, with a total area of 20.5 square miles. 18.5 square miles of it is land and the remaining 2.1 square miles of it is water. Providence is located at the head of Narragansett Bay, with the Providence River running into the bay through the center of the city, formed by the confluence of the Moshasuk and Woonaskatucket rivers. The Waterplace Park Amphitheater and Riverwalks line the river's banks through downtown. Providence is one of many cities claimed, like Rome, to be founded on seven hills. The more prominent hills are Constitution Hill, College Hill, and Federal Hill. The other four are Tokwaton Hill at Fox Point, Smith Hill, Christian Hill at Hoyle Square, and Waybosset Hill at the lower end of Waybosset Street, which was leveled in the early 1880s. Neighborhoods Providence has 25 official neighborhoods, though these neighborhoods are often grouped together and referred to collectively. The east side is a region comprising the neighborhoods of Blackstone, Hope, Mount Hope, College Hill, Wayland, and Fox Point. The Jewelry District describes the area enclosed by I-95, the old I-195, and the Providence River. The city has made efforts to rename this area the Knowledge District to reflect the area's newly developing life sciences and technology-based economy. The north end is formed by the combination of the neighborhoods of Charles Wanskuk, Smith Hill, Elmhurst, and Mount Pleasant. The south side consists of the neighborhoods of Elmwood, Lower South Providence, Upper South Providence, and the West End. West Broadway is an officially recognized neighborhood with its own association. It overlaps with the southern half of Federal Hill and the northern part of the West End. The West Side is a vague term sometimes used to mean the West End, Olneyville, and Silver Lake. Cityscape The city of Providence is geographically very compact. Characteristic of eastern seaboard cities that developed prior to use of the automobile, it is among the most densely populated cities in the country. For this reason, Providence has the eighth highest percentage of pedestrian commuters. The street layout is irregular, over 1,000 streets run haphazardly, connecting and radiating from traditionally bustling places like Market Square. Downtown Providence has numerous 19th-century mercantile buildings in the federal and Victorian architectural styles, as well as several postmodern and modernist buildings located throughout the area. In particular, a fairly clear spatial separation appears between the areas of pre-1980s development and post-1980s development. West Exchange Street and Exchange Terrace serve as rough boundaries between the two. The newer area, sometimes called Capital Center, includes Providence Place Mall, a Western hotel and the residences at the Western, GTEC Corporation, Water Place Condominiums, and Water Place Park. The area tends toward newer development, since much of it is land reclaimed in the 1970s from a mass of railroad tracks referred to colloquially as the Chinese Wall. This part of downtown is characterized by open spaces, wide roads, and intent landscaping. The historic part of downtown has many streetscapes that look as they did 80 years ago. Many of the state's tallest buildings are found here. The largest structure, to date, is the Art Deco-styled former Industrial Trust Tower, currently the Bank of America building at 426 feet. By contrast, nearby to it is the second tallest one financial plaza, designed in modern taut skin cladding, constructed a half century later. In between the two is 50 Kennedy Plaza. The Textron Tower is also a core building to the modest Providence skyline. Downtown is also the home of the Providence Built Moor and Westminster Arcade, the oldest enclosed shopping mall in the U.S., built in 1828. The city's southern waterfront, away from the downtown core, is the location of many oil tanks, a docking station for a ferry boat, a non-profit sailing center, bars, strip clubs, and power plants. 
The Russian Submarine Museum was located here until 2008, after the submarine sank in a storm and was declared a loss. The Fox Point Hurricane Barrier is also found here, built to protect Providence from storm surge, like that which it had endured in the 1938 New England hurricane and again in 1954 from Hurricane Carol. The majority of the cityscape comprises abandoned and revitalized industrial mills, double and triple decker housing, a small number of high-rise buildings, and single-family homes. I-95 serves as a physical barrier between the city's commercial core and neighborhoods such as Federal Hill and the West End. Climate Providence has a humid continental or humid subtropical climate depending on the January isotherm used, with warm summers, cold winters, and high humidity year-round. The USDA places the city in hardiness zone 6B, with the suburbs falling in zone 6A7B. The influence of the Atlantic Ocean keeps Providence and the rest of the state of Rhode Island warmer than many inland locales in New England. January is the coldest month with a daily mean of 29.2 degrees Fahrenheit and low temperatures dropping to 10 degrees Fahrenheit or lower an average of 11 days per winter, while July is the warmest month with a daily mean of 73.5 degrees Fahrenheit and highs rising to 90 degrees Fahrenheit or higher an average of 10 days per summer. Extremes range from minus 17 degrees Fahrenheit on February 9, 1930. 34 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit on August 2, 1975. The record cold daily maximum is 1 degree Fahrenheit on February 5, 1918, while the record warm daily minimum is 80 degrees Fahrenheit on June 6, 1925. Temperature readings of 0 degrees Fahrenheit or lower are uncommon in Providence and generally occur once every several years. The year which had the most days with a temperature reading of 0 degrees or lower was 2015 with 8 days total, 1 day in January and 7 days in February. Conversely, temperature readings of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher are even rarer, and the year with the most days in this category was 1944 with 3 days all of which were in August. As with the rest of the northeastern seaboard, Providence receives ample precipitation year-round. Monthly precipitation ranges from a high of 4.43 inches in March to a low of 3.17 inches in July. In general, precipitation levels are slightly lesser in the summer months than the winter months when powerful storms known as nor'easters can cause significant snowfall and blizzard conditions. Although hurricanes are not frequent in coastal New England, Providence's location at the head of Narragansett Bay makes it vulnerable to them.